Hey guys, it's Michelle with Sweepy Farm. I just wanted to preface this video with a quick warning that there is a live birth in the video. Uh, there's nothing gory or, or, you know, more graphic than any other birth video, but I just wanted to give you a warning in case it's not something you're interested in seeing or showing people that are watching with you. Uh, if you have any questions, if I missed any information, there was a lot of footage I lost last week. So uh, if you have questions, please post them in the comments down below. I'm more than happy to answer you. This is our eighth season lambing. So sometimes I forget to explain some things that uh, are just common knowledge in my head and in my vocabulary that I should be explaining more in the video. So please don't hesitate to ask questions. And if you guys haven't already, please make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and hit the little bell so you can get notifications. We have several does left to kid and about 15 ewes still ready to lamb. So follow along. I hope you guys enjoy the babies. Let's go check them out. Okay guys, so I have lost all of the previous footage of lambing and kidding um, from last week. It's gone. I've come to grips with it. It's fine. It is about 10 o'clock on Friday night. I just came out to check the barn before I went to bed. And finally, Bertha has had a baby. She's lambing. I don't know if she's done because this baby, I'm saying on video in case I forget, was only 8.25 pounds, which is the smallest baby we've had so far. And Bertha is not a small girl. So she's got a lot of milk. Um, I'm hoping, guessing she might have a new baby. And this is the first baby out of Enrique that we've had on the farm. Enrique is our new ram from Nitto Livestock and we finally have a baby out of him. So I'm going to show you the baby. It's a girl. She's had her belly button dipped. She's had her bow C shot and I weighed her, like I said, 8.25 pounds. So let's check her out and I'll show you how she's doing. So here she is fresh out the gate. I have had some um, warm dry towels to help dry her off. It's a little chilly. We have the peanut gallery over here. This is the baby goat that was born last week that I lost all the footage of and her neighbor back there. Lots of, lots of uh, investigators. Somebody is yelling. I don't know why, but, um, but yeah, here's the new baby. I'm pretty sure it's a girl and I think she's done because she's trying to eat. Like I gave her a little grain while I was weighing the baby. And uh, she's not acting like she's gonna have any more. So I'm gonna get this baby nursing to get her warmed up and uh, we'll keep an eye out and see if there's While more. While we're waiting to see if there's more babies, a quick recap since, like I said, I lost all the footage. We have had uh, eight other ewes lamb out or have their babies lose their babies. Um, of those eight, six of them have had singles. Now seven with Bertha. And Eloise and Muppet both had twins that were stillborn that I had to help them with. Um, those were rough situations, but thank God so far both of them are doing well. We've given them medication. We've talked to the vet um, about what they also thought was the right thing to do. And we've only had one goat have their baby. A84 had her little buckling, and he's beautiful, and he's healthy. So... That's where we're at. You're caught up. We are now with Bertha's new baby. We are four girls to three ram lambs. So four you lambs. Yous are females. Rams are males. Um, weathers are neutered males. So that's where we're at. So she's doing great. And we're going to just make sure she eats and see if her mom is done. Okay, so baby number one is all cleaned up. She's a huge udder. Like, you can see how red it is. Um, but... It looks like she's still in labor, so we shall see what comes of that. She's so cute. It is for sure a girl. I double checked again. Good job, Mama. Good mama. So usually Bertha has twin boys or single ewes. So I don't know what this one is yet. Be interesting to see, but the first one was a ewe. So she's throwing me off a little this year. Okay, so we have two girls, which I'm super happy about. They're the first lambs out of our um, little livestock ram from Illinois. And 
The firstborn was whatever I told you the weight was. I'll have to watch back the video. <laughs> the second one was 8.9 pounds, so a little bit bigger. Um, and definitely way whiter, which is funny. Their coloring is totally different. Um, so, yeah. So this is the babies. It's like, I don't know, after 10 o'clock. So I'm just hanging out now, making sure they get thoroughly dried. And uh, they both have already eaten, had their belly buttons dipped, their bosey shot, all that. But I just want to make sure that they are really up and going um, before I go in for a little bit. Okay, so one piece of information that um, I shared on the video that I lost was that when one way to check to make sure babies are well is that when you wake them up, that they stretch. So you want to make sure that... <sighs> If we can get her up, the other one just did it, but I didn't have my video on. Come on, baby. Come then. Oh, she's like, I'm cozy. So you see that little back stretch there? And the shake, that means that they're warm and they're healthy and they're doing well, even though it's cold as heck out here, huh, sister? Just out to check on the newest babies and make sure there are no more coming. It's been a uh, pretty temperature a significant temperature change. We were in the 30s and now I think the high today was 10. So these guys are doing great. There's no sweaters. There's no heat lamps. I have been up um, every couple hours to make sure that they have been eating because I want to make sure that they stay uh, warm and fill their bellies, but they're doing great and they have a really good mama. So that helps. <laughs> So these are the lambs that are, Larry, hmm, over here with their mom. Um, the moms are eating right now, so they're not kind of paired up, but that's Tommy in the back, the big one. Oh, I'm not really sure. There's five in here. So these are the three boys, I think, right here. And then there's a girl there. And there's another girl right there. And then, uh, there's girl one, there's three girls over in the jug still. So these guys have all had their tails banded. They've been up. It's zero degrees out right now outside. And uh, you can see they're all healthy and happy bouncing around. We don't, don't use heat lamps after they're this. We don't use them usually at all, but we certainly don't use them at this age. Um, and they just do their thing. They stay happy and they eat. They're already eating hay. Tommy's been eating hay and grain. Everybody's happy. Okay guys, I'm gonna leave you here. This is the new twins. That's the one you guys saw born. The little buckling we've had. So the only goat kid that's been born yet. And back there is Abby and her daughter, Dina's granddaughter. So I'm gonna keep you guys posted. I wanna end this here so that I can restart for this week on Any Babies Born, and I hope that I don't uh, miss too much information that I can share with you guys, but have a great week, guys, and I'll see you Wednesday on our live at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and then we release videos at 7, or at, on Thursday, uh, usually at 7 in the morning, uh, as long as I don't lose the footage, so thanks so much for hanging out with us, guys. Have a great rest of your day.